Uh, and uh, there's still a very heavy, as you would expect, uh, police presence around here, the uh, area around that concert hall, the Bataclan, one of uh, Paris's most popular halls, a very long history, is still uh, sealed off. Now, in the past uh, half hour or so, uh, we've seen a number of survivors uh, being bussed out, city authorities sending in uh, 10 or so buses. A few of those have been coming back past us. Uh, you can see people inside them have been uh, wearing uh, life blankets. Glimpsing through the windows of those buses is obviously uh, pretty harrowing. People who've just emerged from uh, the biggest terrorist attack in uh, France's uh, modern history. In terms of what exactly went on inside uh, that concert hall, obviously it's going to take a while to uh, piece details together. Obviously talking about uh, dozens, perhaps uh, over 100 uh, dead during the course of all these attacks. Dozens certainly in what appears to be the uh, deadliest uh, incident here at the Bataclan. There's been a lot of uh, eyewitness accounts. I can only give you the ones uh, which we've had talking to somebody who said they were on the uh, Bataclan staff, giving us a bit of a glimpse as to uh, his version of what uh, happened inside. He said that this, uh, as I said, popular concert hall was... Uh, there were about 1,500 people in there for this uh, death metal uh, concert uh, tonight. He described two assailants entering uh, through the uh, main entrance, firing as they did so, understandably uh, panic uh, inside, people not really knowing uh, where to run. He, under he said there was a third assailant who uh, stood outside an emergency exit, firing p on people as uh, they uh, attempted to leave. Police sources seem now to be suggesting that three people uh, were killed, three assailants were killed uh, during that siege uh, on the Bataclan concert hall. Chris, in terms of what is continuing there, can you tell us more about how the operation is unfolding? Things are much uh, calmer now. There are still a lot of uh, security vehicles uh, going back and forth. A lot of ambulances are said. Uh, survivors uh, being uh, evacuated. The siege is uh, clearly very much over now. In terms of those survivors, uh, there's uh, at least one uh, emergency field hospital, if you like, has been uh, set up at the Cirque d'Hiver. Uh, just round uh, the corner where we understand people have been tending to the survivors this evening. A lot of them are now uh, being bussed out of the area. As you said just now, the French president, uh, Francois Hollande, and a number of his senior ministers visiting the scene uh, within the past uh, hour or so, obviously a message of, uh, of uh, resilience. Uh, extraordinary times for France, uh, the biggest single attack in its uh, modern history here at the Bataclan, and extraordinary measures being taken by the government, a state of emergency declared nationwide borders uh, closed down. This is obviously something on a much bigger scale in a city which had uh, been slightly on edge uh, since the uh, Charlie Hebdo attacks at the start of the year. Chris, thank you very much uh, indeed.